a presentation, very nice presentation about the Twitter. Is any questions about her presentation? Okay. How many of you indicated that you have a Twitter account? Twitter account. Whoa! <laughs> That's fantastic. So, if you noticed the uh, during the presentation, Tiffany and Candice gave the example of my uh, of my handle, the Twitter ID. So it's simply dr Corsaris. So if you follow me, you will also find the list. As uh, I think Candice was speaking to this, or yeah, oh Tiffany spoke to lists, and there's a list called study abroad, or is it just Japan? Study abroad Japan or Japan? Study abroad Japan. Study abroad Japan. Study abroad Japan. And all of these students are connected to this list. So you can follow each other, you can find each other from this list on my account. Plus, if you go to, how many of you have Facebook? Okay. <laughs> You're definitely connected. So, if you look, search for MSU Study Abroad Japan, oh, yes. forget my poor handwriting, but MSU Study Abroad Japan on Facebook, there's a page where more pictures will be uploaded, students will share their experiences as we go through each one of the 17 days that we're in Japan. And anything else that the students would like to add? A few of them, if you can indicate by raising your hand, are also conducting, or will be making video documentaries. So they will be asking a, a few of you to, for short interviews. Now that we break up into the little <coughs> groups, and, and uh, Sugai-san will explain the format, the breakdown. Uh, but uh, each of these students may pull you aside for a few minutes to ask you some uh, questions because they'll be making some uh, documentaries, short film, five minutes or so, uh, about a particular topic. So they'll ask you about things, for example, photo booths, or what's another topic? Vending machines. Vending machines. So they'll ask you for your experiences, impressions, and so on. And with that, I'll pass it. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, I, I, I also want to add one thing about the earthquake on the Twitter. Uh, one of the uh, cities, Kesen, 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 Numa, Kesen, Numa, city, uh, was damaged by the tsunami. And uh, there is uh, one already uh, who is working for uh, uh, retarded children. And uh, after the earthquake, she has to rescue. Uh, she, ha uh, she, she, she has to go up to the building. Uh, there is a tall building next to her school. So uh, she ran, ran to this building uh, with and then uh, she sent a message to her son, her mobile phone. And uh, her son is working at London. So uh, since he lives in London, so he, got, he did not know about what is the earthquake in Japan. And then, uh, he tried to find what, what was happening in Japan. And uh, uh, he found that uh, it's a very big earthquake. And uh, she, she, she is isolated with children, some children. So uh, he, he thought that uh, she needs a rescue. So, but uh, he could not, you know, uh, he could not address any public office in Japan, so uh, finally uh, he sent a rescue message using the Twitter. Uh, I don't know how they use the Twitter, but uh, 
there, there is a one guy received his message, but uh, he is not a government official. So, uh, and then he he sent this message to to uh, Mr. Inose. Mr. Inose is the uh, e, 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 no, no, Inose. Inose is now the uh, vice governor of Tokyo Metropolitan City, and uh, he is frequent user of Twitter. So the earthquake was happening the uh, around uh, three o'clock p.m. Finally, uh, Mr. Inose received the rescue message uh, from this son at uh, 11 p.m. Then he, he printed his message and uh, gave, gave, it, uh, gave, gave it this message to the head of fire department uh, at the Tokyo metropolitan city. And then uh, the fire department tries to uh, see what, what was happening. And uh, they, they found that uh, there are 400 people uh, isolated and uh, they, they need a rescue because uh, there is many water around the tall building so nobody can cannot reach. So next morning, uh, the one helicopter, rescue helicopter, uh, starting uh, Tokyo to, to rescue the 400 people at Kesenma city. So that is the very good example how Twitter is useful in the uh, disaster period. Okay, so, okay, so that, that is uh, and, uh, Now, uh, this is the discussion time, so who are the leaders? Please raise your hand, the leaders. One, two, there are, there should be four leaders here. Okay. So, maybe uh, group one, group two, three, four. So, the MSC student can maybe divide it the four groups. So three per group. Yeah, three per group. From our side. Her son is working at London. So uh, since he lives in London, so he don't, he did not know about what is the earthquake in Japan. And then uh, he tried to find what, what was happening in Japan and uh, uh, he found that uh, it's a very big earthquake and uh, she is she, isolated with children, some children. So, uh, also information outlet, um, NASA is, us is using it now to update interested parties about the status of space shuttle flights. Um, and then of course consumer use, people use Twitter to find a job and um, get to know Do you know Nintendo DS? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want the uh, the three DS. Yeah. Can't afford Can't afford that. Yeah, no. it's, too much, it's too much money. Yeah. <laughs> And what's your major? Uh, computer science. So uh, yeah, I want to make video games. Oh.